Oh, well, that's that's a that's an entire different philosophy right there. Yeah, that's that's some good philosophy. I ascribe to that philosophy because he hasn't aged. He's barely got. Well, then again, we don't know. He hasn't space. aged a day. It looks beautiful. Well, his first game came out in 1999. It was a Smash 64. Because <laughs> he's a Smash character. All right. So here we go. Robin fighting off against Falcon. Now, this entire matchup is going to consist of Fury trying to just break Joel's defenses, get in there, break his zone, get through his projectiles, just like he's doing right there. And just trying to apply all slots to crazy pressure against him. You know, Joel, Joel's going to have to try his best to just try to, like, put up this defense, throw all these projectiles to get him away from him, because right now he's getting set up a lot. Already talking about 74 damage edge guard opportunity. Oh, yeah, let's not forget what those edge guards can look like. Falcon with his amazing patented down air, and Robin a character with no hitbox on the recovery. Not very easy to angle. It's very predictable and exploitable. That was so. a beautiful setup coming from Joel. He actually applied a ton of shield pressure, going for the Z-drop with that book to force Fury into a panic state. There's so there's little, little tiny things I'm loving from Fury. The way that he beefy up be there to land back on stage. You know, if he had grabbed the ledge, which is the safe play, he would have ended up on ledge. You know, because he was stuck there for about 20 frames, and by then, Jewel could have positioned himself to the point where ooh, uh, he could have stood it up for a ledge trap. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of these uh, footstools coming out from Jewel. They're looking pretty accidental because he's not really getting anything from a follow-up because he, go he goes too high into the area. Well, you know? he ended up going for... Oh, is he dead? Nope. Yeah, Still going to live that. Okay, running out of invincibility. Let's not forget the higher your percentage, the less invincibility you actually get and when he's, you're on the ledge. He's got one more arc fire left in him before he gets that book, and he knows it. Goes for the gentlemen's and send him flying. He's going to be able to live. Good DI. Has the book in hand. Possibly going to use it to wait for him back on stage. Back throw not doing it. And he ends up blowing the Thoron. Thoron at this point is pretty good because of the fact that it can uh, actually take the stock. And it's much yeah. faster than Arc Thunder. And he shot that because he wanted to throw a charge on it so he could start like reloading it or get the book afterwards. And we're actually seeing Fury kind of struggle to get the kill. As you say that, man. He just uh, throws out that back air, throws his uh, backhand into the air. Like, you just don't care. Yeah. Nice mix-up. Crossing him up completely with that up bear into a forward smash. Dash attack setting him up again. Lots of solid damage coming out right now. Oh, that good up B to get out of it. Fury's still an advantage. Not only is Jewel on the ledge, but he's already taken 90%. I think he's out of the range for something like up air knee, but Fury hasn't seemed to be going for something like that. He's less, you know, about those gimmicks and more about, you know, let me just hit you so many times that you just die normally. He was also playing incredibly safe, like not chasing after him. Actually kicked him up into the air with the Falcon kick. Are you Goes for the Falcon dive to that send him so flying. Risky. If he air dodged that, would he have died? Captain Falcon! Good. No. He, he didn't find, because he got the Falcon, just would have thrown himself into a fast I, fall state. I don't know. So he gets this up air. If he would have air he dodged right there, deep. he, he would have been, been fine. How? If Robin would have air dodged? Yeah. He would be completely fine. What? I'm talking about Falcon. Oh, Falcon! What, what, what do you mean? He would, if he air dodged, he would have been off stage. Would he have been able to drift back to the stage if he had... I'm saying that if he had guessed wrong on that 50-50, wouldn't he have died? Uh, maybe? Question mark? I, I, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> well, that shows that Fury is willing to risk it for the biscuit. Doing... Like, <laughs> just kind of doing some stylish things, being real cool about it. Uh... Fortunately, this game, too, is actually... You'd think that with something like that, you'd have a lot of momentum. But he's only taken 96%. Maybe Jewel is actually the one who got a little bit of a strength from that. A sobering moment. They try to apply some shield pressure with that neutral air. Ooh. By the way, shout outs to Ultimate, where I believe you were unable to tech grounded spikes. Nice drift. Fury just playing incredibly patient there, waiting for Jewel to just go down towards the uh, south. Yeah, once again, he went super deep for that. Worked out for him, but um, uh, all like if he keeps going for this, if he keeps being that hungry, 
Jewel can possibly turn it around. We haven't really seen it yet, but the stocks are even, and <laughs> I don't know. I would expect Yuri to do more silly things off stage, honestly. So if it works, he's cool. If it doesn't, I mean, he's still cool. He's a cool guy. Yeah, that dash stack into the, some up air setups. Oh, he read the roll, but he's a little bit hesitant on actually punishing it. Oh, oh, that was good DI. Back air. That was really good DI from Jewel. DIing in to avoid the, near, the knee setup. Nah, Fury wanted to get weak knee to back. <laughs> he wanted it. It's so much better than just knee. He's going for the simple back air, punishing him for throwing the projectile out. <laughs> yeah, he's still going off stage, even though that's pretty much the what's the opposite of a win condition? A lose condition for him. Is if he gets edge guarded. Trying to get that down here, just goes for the simple gentleman catching the let go jump. jump. Beautiful recovery though, drifting exactly where he needs to be. Yes, he's taken 141%, but that's a lot of rage. One solid combo is might possibly put him at death percent. That's not even, you know, considering a possible edge guard. Meanwhile, all Fury needs right now at this point is a back air. A gentleman's could kill him at this point. A grab could set up into something beautiful. He's looking for any of them. One thing that he hasn't really gone for is Raptor Boost. That is true. I mean, Raptor Boost right now might be super risky. Like, that might be the sort of thing where if it doesn't work, you could just die. Oh. That's death. <laughs> what? Caught him double jumping. Wait, where was he? He was below he was like, him, then double jumped that? right in front of him. Is not the grab. Happened? I thought that was some DK, like, absorption. Oh, he, yeah, he definitely double jumped. But he still, he was like, he was like almost, him. yeah, he was kind of, it kind of looked again? like, he kind of looked like he was a little behind him. But I get it. <laughs> he was like right on top of him. Yeah. Just, still, the, the grab connected, he got the up throw, and Fury's going to move on to loser semis to fight off against the winner of our next round.